welcome to another episode of Tiny Nest. I'm Kiva. And I'm Jake. This series is following our tiny house project from the early stages through to completion and beyond. In this episode, we show how we bonded our trailer to our electrical system to make it safe. An important element to the tiny house's electrical system is to bond the trailer. And we're also going to pick up the copper propane line while we're down here. Obviously, there's a lot of metal under here. And in the event of some kind of electrical mishap or damage to a wire, and a live wire touches any of this metal, we want to make sure that there's a path through the bond back to the system ground at the source of power. So what we're using here is a six gauge bare copper conductor. And we just got it poking through the flange. The rest is up inside where we can enter it into the electrical panel. And I'm going to attach it to the trailer using this lug. So the first step is going to be to affix the lug to the trailer. And an important part of this step is going to be to remove this powder coating or paint um, to make sure uh, to expose the bare metal to make sure we're getting metal to metal contact here and ensure good electrical continuity. I've removed the coating, first just scraping with a screwdriver and then I use some sandpaper to make sure it's nice and clean. And I've got ample surface area to accept the lug. The hole I just drilled with a regular drill bit and then used a self-tapping screw to make some threads which actually worked really well. So I'll be able to tighten it down and feel confident that it's going to stay put. This type of lug is really nice because you can just lay the conductor in after you've got it cinched down instead of having to feed it all the way through. And that allows us to carry on and pick up the propane line. So I just made sure I've got enough length to get over to that. I usually go until I hear kind of a uh, creak like that. And you know it's nice. And Nice and tight, good electrical connection. To bond the uh, copper propane line here, first I'm just gonna expose the actual copper because we've got it wrapped in this insulation. And then this is a pipe bonding clamp and it's great because it can swing open and then can just be fit around an existing pipe. And then it will cinch down and make strong, obviously you don't want to crush the pipe, but we'll get it so it's just snug and uh, making a good electrical sort of bite onto the uh, pipe. And then the top hole is a provision to allow the bonding conductor to go through. I've just got the tip taped here so that the uh, strands don't splay out. Obviously you want it to make a connection like that. So that's how it's going to go, and I'm just going to cinch it down and make sure everything is snug. I've rooted it nicely to keep it uh, up out of the way. This is all cinched down uh, snug, so that's good. And then I'm going to go over this one last time and make sure that it's still snug, that it hasn't shifted or anything. Then we're gonna spray it a bit with um, some black spray paint to cover that uh, bare steel that we exposed so that it doesn't corrode and over time lose its electrical conductivity. Here's where the wire is poking up into the framing and I just need to pop a couple staples in to secure it down and then it's gonna run through here into the panel and then it just needs to be tightened down onto the bonding bus to be uh, integrated into the whole bonding system. If you want to see some of our previous videos, click on the preview tiles. And subscribe if you want to follow our progress. You can also visit our website here.